In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily export a video on iMovie in just a couple of clicks. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to dive straight into this video and show you how you can start exporting our videos on iMovie so you can start sharing it as soon as possible. So I've just finished uh, so I've just finished editing this video and I'm happy with all the edits, the audio, the music, all of the transitions and that kind of stuff. So the next thing I obviously want to do is export the video. So to do this, simply all you have to do is navigate to the top right hand corner and you'll see this little icon which is kind of, I don't know how to describe it, it's an arrow in a box. Now if I click on this one, this will bring up a few different options to share the video or export it directly to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, um, save current frame or email. So what I want to pick here is actually just to click on export file. And I mainly do this as this gives me the most amount of control for exporting the video when it comes to the quality, the compression and also naming the file as well. So right here we have a kind of brief description which is my movie. We have the length and also the size of the video which is really really important um, to take into consideration when exporting your video and I'll show you why um, in just a couple of moments. So the first thing I want to change is the name of the video and this will just make it easier to find in my downloads whether that's sharing it with someone, uploading to YouTube or doing a presentation. So for this one I'll just go AirPods video and I can leave the tags as is, that really isn't that important. And then for format, I can leave video and audio as is. However, if you are looking to export just a particular audio, um, you can also do that. You can select audio and that will extract the audio from the video and you can just download that as a particular uh, file. So the next thing that we can adjust is the resolution. So if I click into this one, we have a couple of options such as 720p, 540p. And there's also other options depending on the quality of the video you might have recorded, whether that's 1080 or 4K. So I'm just going to leave this one as is. Now the next thing I want to do is adjust the quality. So depending on the video and the compression you want to use, you can export um, the video in different types of quality. Um, so I typically do high and this will export the video pretty much as you recorded it. Um, and this will also increase the size as well. So as you can see, the size of the video has gone up from 250 megabytes to uh, 680. So this does affect um, the size of the video. And then also if I go to best um, ProRes, that will also drastically um, increase the video size as well. Uh, but from my own experience, I really haven't found that much of a difference between high and even medium. But if you are looking for um, really small file sizes, you can even go to low um, if you're looking to upload it to YouTube um, really quickly as well. So I'm just going to leave it on high. And that's still a pretty okay file size. And right here we have compress. So if you're looking to export the file, you can either compress it at its fastest um, possible rate, which will allow you to start sharing faster, or you can compress it at the better quality. Um, so typically I find the better quality to take maybe two to five times as longer, depending on the file format. Um, but almost always, I always do faster as I really haven't found that much of a difference um, between faster and best quality. So I'm just going to leave that one as is. So once we're happy with all of these changes, I can then go press next. And this will bring up a new pop-up. And then I can select the file destination, whether that's um, downloads, desktop, movies, and so on. So I'm just going to leave that as downloads. And then again, I can go and rename the file um, to AirPods. And then I can click on save. And that will start exporting um, the video. And if I actually click into this wheel, that will give me um, the exporting and it will also give me a rough estimate of how much longer it takes to export. And right here we have two minutes left um, on the um, exporting process. Um, but there you have it guys, that's a really quick and simple way on how you can export movies in iMovie. So I really hope this video has been helpful for you. If there's any other videos you'd like to see, please comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.